in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose the Bishop St. Patrick to preach your glory to the people of Ireland, grant through his merits and intercession that those who glory in the name of Christian may never cease to proclaim your wondrous deeds to all. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Azariah stood up in the fire and prayed aloud. For your name's sake, O Lord, do not deliver us up forever, or make void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us, for the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one, to whom you promised to multiply their offspring, like the stars of heaven, or the sand on the shore of the sea. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world this day because of our sins. We have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader, no burnt offering, sacrifice, oblation, or incense. No place to offer first fruits to find favor with you. But with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received as though it were burnt offerings of rams and bullocks or thousands of fat lambs. So let our sacrifice be in your presence today as we follow you unreservedly. For those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you and we pray to you. Do not let us be put to shame, but deal with us in your kindness and great mercy. Deliver us by your wonders and bring glory to your name, O Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember, Remember your mercies, mercies, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior. Remember, Remember your, your mercies, mercies, O Lord. Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your goodness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember, Remember your mercies, mercies O Lord. Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Remember, Remember your mercies, your mercies O Lord. Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times. Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me and I will pay you back in full. Move with compassion, the master of the servant, let him go and forgive him the loan. When the servants had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had put him in prison until he paid the, back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went, into their, went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgive you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Thus in, your anger, thus in anger his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly father do to you unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Happy St. Patrick's Day. This is probably one of my favorite all-time uh, days to celebrate throughout the year. And oftentimes I've celebrated this, not just in my home, but in bars across Delaware County and across the area, because before I was a priest, I played in an Irish band, and this was a time to make a lot of money and have a lot of fun. 
and we played for hours and hours and hours and people would dance, they would sing, and it was probably one of the most enjoyable times of the year for me. Now I do a lot of my playing of the guitar in class and I think our students at Ryan like that because I'm not teaching and I'm just playing music instead, but I owe it all the way back to that time of playing in bars. I think sometimes the students are, now they're always big fans and it's easier to play there than playing in the bars. But we've got this great model of St. Patrick as this missionary who went into this foreign land to cast out the evil one. I mean, this is how powerful St. Patrick was, that he was a slave, and he turned into this magnificent bishop that led thousands upon thousands, countless generations, to know the true faith of Jesus Christ. There are two fantastic resources to learn more about it. And why do I know that? Because I assigned it as homework. They're on form.org. Uh, one's a great 26-minute cartoon about his life, and the other is about a 61-minute video of the going and doing the pilgrimage of St. Patrick and walking in his footsteps around Ireland to be charged up by the faith. See, St. Patrick has empowered whole generations of Catholic missionaries to promulgate the Catholic faith throughout the world. I mean, how many times or how many different uh, Catholic Irish priest do we have to thank? Sister St. Mark, the IHM sisters who have done uh, incredible works of mercy and catechesis throughout the Archdiocese of Philadelphia and across the world. This really is the glory and the goodness that this one individual has given to us. So I think it's a great time as we celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Most likely we're celebrating at home and not going out to the bars. Uh, maybe we're having to stick it out with other people, our family members, and not be able to see our friends. But to remember the gift of faith that is passed down. See, here's the good news about the Irish. They're tough. They know how to suffer. And they know how to celebrate in the midst of great adversity. And this is where we celebrate today with this heroic saint who has inspired generations and continues to inspire us today. Heavenly Father, we bring our prayers and petitions before you. We pray for Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Archbishop. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for our country and all those affected by this virus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in thanksgiving for all the countless missionaries and priests and catechesis and families of the Irish who have been inspired by St. Patrick. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for an outpouring in vocations of the priesthood and religious life especially from Archbishop Ryan. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. our prayer. We pray for all the sick, that through the intercession of St. Patrick, he may cure them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. And for all the deceased, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you through the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all this holy church. Francis, O Lord, we pray that this saving sacrifice may cleanse us of our faults and become an inflation pleasing to your almighty power through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Back with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse of the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, and the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always, and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you take, you take away the sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. May the holy partaking of this mystery give us life, O Lord, we pray, and grant us both pardon and protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke and we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.